Hey, my friends, some of you reached out to me and asked me if it's illegal, if it's illegal to make your own press pass. And no, no, it's not illegal to make your own press pass. However, do not try impersonate somebody you aren't or try and make people think you work for a company you don't like ESPN. Don't do that. But if you have any questions or concerns about it, please seek legal advice because, as you know, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a sports photographer, and I'm here to teach you about sports photography. And today, we're going to create a press pass. And what we're going to do is I'm going to jump into Canva. It's a program that's uh, easily accessible, and it is free to use. You do have to sign up for an account, of course. In case you're interested, no, this video is not sponsored by Canva. I use Canva because, well, it has lots of tools available for me as a creative, which allows me to get my projects done quickly and efficiently. And that's why I use Canva. All right, let's jump into it. Once you get set up in Canva, I want you to go over to the left-hand side to templates and then go up here to the search and type in ID. Don't put in press pass or media credentials because that will not take you where you need to go. ID is the place you want to be because the media pass is basically an ID. It tells you who you are, who you work for, and you can see there are tons of different choices, different colors, different looks, but we're going to keep it simple today. Now, if you see a little crown in the right-hand corner, that's the pro version. You have to pay to be able to use that, but there are plenty of free ideas to choose from. I would suggest staying away from the horizontal ones like this, and we're gonna go for vertical because that works best for media credentials. Now I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. I'm just gonna click on this first one right here because it has everything we're gonna to need to work with. We're gonna click customize. Now the first thing I do is I go up here and I will resize it because it's only a two by three and a half. I would go no smaller than a three by five. I'm gonna make mine four by six because I want my press pass to be big. I want people to be able to see it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize a couple of things and move a few things around. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna move this up a little higher and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it doesn't have to be that big. I do suggest that you use a photo. I do think having a photo is important. And this yellow section you see over here kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I do have some photos I'm gonna put in here. You go over to your upload. You can upload files really easily. As you notice here, I have quite a few that I've been working on, all kinds of different projects going on. We're going to scroll down. I have a picture I think I want to use that should work really good for this. And that's the one right there. You just, and you see, you just drag it right into there and boom, you are done. So easy and simple. And if you really wanted, you could edit it, lighten it up just a little bit in this area, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right. So next thing I am going to do, I am going to move this up a little higher. And truthfully, I'm going to move this to get it out of the way. This is where my name is going to be. So, and I want my name to be pretty darn big. So you guys know my name and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this, oops, make this a little bit bigger. Color is fine for now. I'm going to change the color to, I don't mind the white background, but I want my name big. I want people to be able to see who I am. I want them to see me coming from miles away. I'm going to go ahead and change that color to black because it works better. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this and then do this. That's where you put the name of your organization. I am Small Town Sports Network. That's how I'm going to make this press pass. And this one can actually be a little smaller. So we're going to, so we're going to shrink this down. So it fits in there probably about like that. Let me move it out of the way. Now we don't need these. Don't need telephone numbers. Don't need the website on there. Don't need any of that. That part doesn't matter right now. And move this out of the way and move this down. Oops, let's go a little smaller on that one, shall we? And give it a little space in between there. All right, next thing I'm gonna do Let's move this guy down a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that one. Let's do this instead. Let's move that up. Move this down. I'm going to do media. And we want media to be really big as well. We want people to know who we are and that we are media. So go big. Go really big with this. Make sure it fills up a lot of that space. See, I can even go bigger. I'm just going to keep going. That will probably do it right there. And this I will also make black. And see how that looks. See, media looks pretty good standing out. It's got a good look going on it already. 
Now, I really don't like black and black. I could put a highlight behind here and make this stand out a little bit if I wanted. But we're going to just do this. We're just going to change the color a little bit. Let's put it to like a little darker color like that. So that's got a little bit of separation. It's a little bit different than the other one. And then you can bring it down just a little more. I often have individuals come up to me asking me who I work for. Do I have a website? And the answer to that is yes, I do have a website. But when I tell them what the website is, smalltownsportsnetwork.com, they more than likely are going to forget it. Or I know a few have forgotten it and asked me again later. So I've come up with something so ingenious, I should get a Nobel Prize for it. Well, or at least I should get some type of recognition. Here's what it is. You are going to put in this little spot here, a QR code, which you can make in Canva as well. Right here. See this? It's my QR code. This QR code leads them directly to my website. So I don't know of hardly any phones these days that don't have a QR scan on it. So now when anybody comes up to me and asks me if I have a website, I say, yeah, do you have a QR scan? And they'll say yes. And I'll show them my press pass. And all they have to do is scan it and it takes them to my website right there. Or you could have it direct them to a gallery where they can look at some of the images you've taken. Or if you really want, maybe send them to your Instagram. It's up to you. But you can easily make the QR code and they go directly to where you want them to go. And then it's on their phone. It's there. They don't have to worry about remembering what you said is the website. Now that I have it created, there's only a couple more things I need to do. The first thing I need to do is download it. And then I'm going to print it out. To download it, I'm going to go up here and go to share. I'm going to go down here to download. Always make sure this is the right place. You can go to PNG or you can do JPEG, whichever you want. I just leave it right there because it works just as good as anything. And then we're just going to print page one out. And then done. And then download it. After it's been downloaded, I will go into the folder where I downloaded it to. I will open that folder up. And I'm just going to use Windows Photos to print this with because I've never had any problems or issues with it. It's always worked really good for me. I'm going to go to print. I'm going to change this into portrait mode. And then I'm going to make this a 4 by 6 I use glossy paper. I use photo paper because it lasts longer and it looks really good as compared to just regular old paper. And then I need to change one more thing. There it is four by six and I can see it's taken up perfectly then you have a couple of choices you can either print it out directly to a four by six sheet of photo paper or if you don't have that you can just use a full sheet and then just trim it down to the size that you need and then of course you just hit print Now we have it printed out. We just got to get it laminated. I'm going to use some self steel laminating pouches, four by six size, perfect for what I've just done. Or you can use a laminated machine, which you have to wait to heat up. This right here I like because it's so simple and easy. Just follow the instructions and you're good to go. There we have the press pass all laminated and ready for a couple more steps. Now you probably noticed I use some of these self steel laminating pouches. These things are great, four by six, you buy them like that, put the photo in there and you saw how easy it was to do. Now, a couple more things we need to do. We need to take our hole punch. We need a hole in this thing. So we're gonna go about halfway, a little ways down maybe. I'm sure you guys know how all know how to use a hole punch, right? Put the hole in there, so I got that. And then you take your lanyard and there you go. Your press pass is all ready to go. Keep in mind, there's gonna be some events you're gonna need a specific type of press pass for. You have to know how to contact the individuals who are in charge of this. So what you need to do is check out this video here. I give you some ideas, some tips, and some tricks on how to get a press pass. Once you get your press pass, you got your gear, you got your credibility, you're all set to go. All you need now is to get out and shoot.